y'all and welcome to today's video. I'm very excited because I'm going to be ranking eyeshadow palettes. This is always so hard, but it's also so fun. I'm going to be talking you through some of the palettes that I've been trying recently. These are palettes that I've used several times. I'm ready to completely review these for y'all. And as a little added fun, I'm going to do it in a ranking style. So kind of working my way up to my most favorite palette that I've tried recently. And if you were new here, I want to say, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter ranking palettes we are here for it so if that sounds good to you i do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because i upload lots of new videos every single week but we do have a lot to talk about so let's jump into it now before i start i just want to throw out a couple of things so you know while you're watching if you see this ranking video and I don't mention a palette, chances are I've probably reviewed it in a previous ranking video or I have not got my full thoughts on it yet. So there are a few palettes that I'm still testing out. So they will be in the next ranking video. But for this video, I always reserve it for palettes that I know how I feel about them. I've used all the shades. I've used them a couple of times. I've played with them and it's more than a first impression. It's more than a second impression. It's a review. So that's what this video is gonna be. It's going to be a review. And I also just wanna say, this ranking for me was really hard because I have not tried a bad palette lately. And a lot of times I kind of automatically know you're the bottom palette, you weren't the fave. But all the palettes I'm gonna talk about today, I actually really like all of these. So it was really, really tricky. Like the number three palette could be the number one palette. Like I just, I kept moving these around, kept moving these around. Ask me tomorrow, I may rank these differently. Ask me in a week, I'll probably rank them differently. But I kept putting this video off because like I said, they're all really good palettes, but this is all gonna be a ranking based on my personal preference and I'm gonna give you reviews along the way. So now that we've got that out of the way, we can start. Okay, coming in at the number seven spot, I'm gonna say number seven, not bottom, because this is a great palette. This is the ColourPop What the Shell Pressed Powder Palette. So they launched this with one of their newer collections. I do have a video, I'm pretty sure I have a video with all of the palettes that I'm gonna talk about, but I did a video testing this palette and some other things from the ColourPop collection. And this is a really pretty palette. I really like the different formulas in here. We have mattes, we have mattes with a little sparkle, we have shimmers, we have super shock shadows. And I really like this nine pan palette. I like the curation of colors. The only reason it's coming in a little bit lower for me is because I just like the other palettes a little bit more. Color story wise, I like those a bit more, but I really like this one. So that's what makes ranking videos hard sometimes is it's like, you would think the bottom spot would be a palette I don't like, but I really like this. I just tried a bunch of good ones. The reason I bought this palette and what kind of called me into it is these like peachy orange shades and these kind of pinky red shades. I like that we have a duochrome up here, this kind of pink to gold shade. We have like super shock formula in here with this. Just really, really pretty selection. So even though it's at the bottom, just know I really, really like this palette. I think it's really nice. I love the look I created with it and I've enjoyed playing with this one. Okay, next up, I ranked the Sugar Dreams Duochrome Shimmer Eyeshadow Palette from Sugar Drizzle. This one, again, I really enjoy this palette. It makes ranking so hard because I have so many good palettes that I like, but this one just came in a little bit lower because it's mostly light shades. I do most of the time prefer deep shades. So when I'm ranking on preference, I put this one a little lower. But I wanna say, I'm so happy to have this palette. I think the formulas in here are beautiful. Some of these are shimmery, some of these are shifty. And I think this is a great companion palette because if you wanna have, if you create an eye look and you're like, I wanna put on a really pretty shim shimmery or shifty inner corner shade, 
this palette is full of shades that are great for the inner corner. Like a beautiful all matte intense navy look, pop this on the inner corner and it's gonna be like, wow, beautiful bright. Same with these pinks and light purples, just really pretty complimentary shades. I think this is a great companion palette. Of course, you can use these as one and done shadows if you like something bright, but I've really enjoyed pulling this in. Like I said, for inner corner pops, for putting just a little brightness on the lid. I think this is full of really, really pretty shades. I like the packaging. Again, don't let the fact that it's number six deceive you because I really enjoy it. Okay, next up, I have the Lethal Cosmetics One Up palette. First of all, this is so cute. I love the arcade theme. I think that's really special and fun. And then inside, you kind of have two sides. So you have player one over here and then you have player two over here. So really, really beautiful shades. I will say with this palette, I like the shimmer sparkly shades more than I like the mattes. The mattes do require some building and a little extra blending for me. They are very beautiful though, just a little bit dry, a little bit sheer, but they can definitely, definitely be built up. I love the color story of this palette. I love how we start off with like this yellowy green going to the dark green. Then we have teal, purple, and pink together. I like that there's kind of corresponding shimmers in here. These shimmers are gorgeous, like very intense, sparkly, shimmery shades. This yellow right here in certain lights when it's applied can also look super green, which is beautiful. This shade right here, high score, so sparkly and intense. It's absolutely stunning. So I've really had a good time playing with this one. I've been enjoying using the different formulas. Lethal, this is only the second time I've ever bought from Lethal. I shopped from them on Camera Ready Cosmetics. Listen, phenomenal, phenomenal, phenomenal phenomenal shipping. Like they shipped so fast. My order came packed so well. So I've been, I've been enjoying this one. It's super colorful. It's super bright. I feel like it's perfect for summer. I'm into it. Okay, at number four, I put the Pat McGrath Labs Mini Eyeshadow Palette in Midnight Voyage. I love, first of all, the packaging is so cute. The plastic with the gold Pat McGrath. I love that Pat McGrath launched a palette this small at this price point with this good quality shadows. Now I know it is tiny, like look at it next to a sponge. <laughs> it's a tiny palette, but I love that she offered this price point so more people could test out her formula, see what they think. There's two beautiful mattes in here. You've got two beautiful purpley shimmers and you've got two more neutral shimmers. I love that this palette is divided with three neutrals up top, three purpley tones at bottom. I have loved playing with this palette. I really like Pat McGrath as a brand overall. I love their complexion products. I love their um, eye palettes. I really, really, really enjoy the brand. And I know these are repeat shades. These are shades shades that she has in some of her other palettes, but I think this was a great palette for people who want to try Pat McGrath without spending the $125 or whatever they are. You get a good selection in here, beautiful colors, and if you are somebody who likes to put your makeup in your purse, you're doing your makeup on the go, something like that, this does not take up a lot of space and you get beautiful shadows. Okay, I will say all of the top three palettes could be number one and they were number one and I just kept rearranging, kept playing. I kept putting off filming this video and I'm like, Heather, just, just do it. So just know all three could be number one, but at number three, I'm putting Don't Be Jelly from Unearthly Cosmetics. This is another all shifty palette. These shades are really, really super duper beautiful. I'm actually wearing this shade right here, Don't Be Jelly 5. This is what I have all over my lid that you see. It's a beautiful like burgundy, red, gold, bronzy type of shift. This maybe my favorite shade in the palette. I'm not sure. It's a blue to turquoise. This one's gorgeous. Like there's, there's very different shifts in this palette. And I do get asked a lot between shifty shades and stuff to do like comparisons. But honestly, there are certain brands like Cleona, Terra Moons that are handmade shadows. Those aren't worth comparing. 
Adapt Cosmetics and Unearthly Cosmetics, they have form, both have different formulas that are different to other brands I try. So there's really not a lot of comparison when it comes to formulas. Just throwing that out there ever in case you're curious. Definitely there are some brands where I feel like they could maybe dupe out different shades, but with certain brands, they have their own unique formula and different formulas, like they really bring something to the table in my opinion. And that's how I feel about this Unearthly palette. I feel like there's some different formulas in here that I don't necessarily have from other brands. There are some different shifts and textures and I really, really like that. So I've had a great time playing with this Don't Be Jelly palette. I've pulled it in to mix and match with some other palettes I've had and I've just had a really, really good time playing with this one. I do have, well, I already said, I have a video on all of these palettes. So if you want more information, swatches, anything like that, definitely check out my channel because you'll probably see videos on all of these. Number two was a surprise for me, y'all. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Nouveau palette, their newest launch. It's so beautiful. First of all, I love this packaging. And then inside, we have this beautiful, like kind of earth toned color story. I like that we have light and dark shades. I like that we have some mid-tones. I love this pop of purple. I love this kind of duochrome down here. Very, very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. When I went out of town, I was gone for like two weeks almost to Poland. I left this palette with my sister-in-law because I was like, you have to try this. I told her, this is the ABH formula we love, but elevated for now. Like it's an improvement of that formula. And she felt the same way. She was like, yeah, that's a really, really good palette. <laughs> Cause it is, it's so beautiful. And I used to love ABH eyeshadows so much. And then like their color stories and their stuff, it just kind of fell off for me and it wasn't calling my attention but I really still love the brand. So when they announced this new palette, I was like, okay, I have to try this. And the formulas are phenomenal. The shimmers, beautiful, everything about this. I've just really, really, really enjoyed playing with this palette. You can see it's pretty well loved. I've just had a great time with it. And honestly, it could be number one as well. Okay. The number one palette goes to Martine Cosmetics. This is the palette they launched in their diner collection. First of all, the whole vibes of this I love. This is what I'm wearing. I told you I'm wearing that one don't be jelly shade all over the lid, but all the mattes, the inner corner shade, the lower lash line is all this palette. This palette is at Beauty Bay now. I did make a community tab post because I know a lot of y'all like me love to shop from Beauty Bay. But this palette, the mattes are pigmented, they're easy to blend, they're buildable, they're beautiful. You can really kind of sheer them out. Like I didn't want this shade to be super intensely pigmented, but this is what I have kind of in the outer corner. I went in with the fluffy brush and I was able to just blend it and kind of make it a little lighter to get this look today. I have on this shade Sunny all kind of in the crease right up front. I have Peggy as my inner corner and then I have Tammy on the lower lash line. I've worn this palette to work. I've done a look where I just stuck with the mattes and created something super kind of basic and simple, but still beautiful, still easy to blend. I could like, I just have such a good time with this palette. I love that it goes from light to dark. I love that we have lots of options in here. You can do a monochromatic look if you want with these reds, with these blues. You can do a neutral look, you can do a colorful look. The shades are very easy to blend, very pigmented, very beautiful. Just really, really easy to work with this palette. And the shimmers are very special too. This silver shade in particular is just absolutely gorgeous. The imprints on the pan are very deep imprints. So if you're using this palette and you're like, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to ruin the little cute cherry imprint. Don't worry. They're printed in there really deep. I've used this palette a lot and the imprints on the pans are still super duper visible. So I like that a lot. I think this is just a really, really high quality palette love the brand. I've really enjoyed everything I've tried from them, but that is this ranking. I would love to know 
what you think. What palettes have you been loving this month? Have you tried new palettes? Give me your review down below. Are you on a low buy and no buy? Are you shopping your stash? Tell me the products that you've been loving. I always love hearing from y'all. If you've tried any of these and you want to leave your review down below, definitely do that. I want to know what you think. Let me tell you what else is on my face. I actually filmed a TikTok showing how I apply some of these Sigma products. So I'm wearing my Sigma matte bronzer, my Sigma blush and berry love, my Sigma highlight in the shade moonbeam. And then I also did a lip swatch video because I have these new products sent to me from Urban Decay. I have a few of these Vice Lip Bond Unbreakable Liquid Lip Color. Instant Shine All Day Intensity. I'm loving these. The shade I have on right now is Textum. So that is the rest of the makeup that I have on. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know. Do you still like ranking videos? Do you like when I review palettes in this way or are you kind of over ranking videos? I want to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a super awesome day and I'll see you very soon in another video. Bye.